Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for watching. And today we have another awesome app for our PS Vita. And this one is called One Menu for PS Vita. And this is a very great UI. It's a very simple UI that lets us take a look at all the different games that we have, all the different homebrew, and just categorizes everything in its place. Also, you can shrink the games and remove files that are not necessary to play the game and save you some space. And here we are on our first category, we have games for the PlayStation Vita. Our next category is homebrews for the PlayStation Vita. All the different homebrew that I have installed so far. And next up we have uh, games and homebrews, adrenaline bubbles. So it does recognize that, which is great. Perfect. And there are only three categories, but there's so much to dive into with this app, which I'll get into later on in this video. But let's go ahead and get started on how to install this application. So let's head on over to our main menu and go to Vita Shell. Let's start that up. And you have two different options. You have the USB connection and also the FTP client. Let's press start. Make sure your USB device is selected to the correct partition or correct uh, folders that you want to install the uh, files to. And then the select button, we have the FTP option and the USB. For this demonstration, I will use FTP so I won't lose connection on my Vita. So let's go back by pressing start again. And then I'll press select and this will enable your USB mode or the FTP client. Now we can get on our PC and I'll change here to our desktop and head on over to the first link in the description down below and I'll take you to github.com. And here is the front page of one menu for PS Vita, giving props to the developer one Lua. Thank you so much for providing this amazing app for us. And you could take a look at all the different things that the app uh, can do for you. And we'll go through all that here in just a minute. And so uh, let's go to our releases, 25 releases. And you want to click on this link here. So the more updated version will be at the top. And this one is 4.44 megabytes. So click on that. Nice. Let's show in our folder. There we go. And now I'm going to open up my FTP client and get that connected. Perfect. I'm going to open up my UXO folder and open up my VPK folder and drag that in there. Very nice. And if you have the USB mode connection, all you have to do is just drag that into your USB uh, drive and you're good to go. So let's disconnect and head on over to our beta. Let's disconnect from FTP or USB. Go to our UXO folder. Find that VPK. Very easy, same old thing that we're doing here. One menu Vita. Press X to install. And it says it's asking for permission. So just press X and install and you're good to go. And let's head back to the main menu and check out the app here. Here we are, and one of the best features about this app is the shrinking of each game. And let's go to Uncharted Golden Abyss and press triangle, and this little menu will appear. And you have the option to uninstall, shrink game, edit bubble title, open game folder, sort category by ID. So let's shrink the game by pressing X. And before we do, the app is at 2.91 gigabytes. So let's hit that. And system message says no duplicate files detected. So it will start detecting uh, certain files within your storage system. And we'll see if there's, you know, uh, multiple or copies of the same file and they'll delete them. So let's press uh, X for OK. Now it says uh, system message. Do you really want to remove this manual? Count 172 files. 64.61 uh, megabytes free. That's a lot of space. For me, that's a lot of space. Uh, let's hit yes. And it will begin to delete those files because we don't 
need the manual, right? And now we're sitting at 2.84 gigabytes. It's not a whole lot, but if you have a lot of games with a lot of menus or a lot of manuals and you start deleting them, you will compensate a lot of space and you will get your space back, which is not too terribly bad. You can also edit the bubble title. And I'm not a big fan of doing this, but uh, I like to keep them just as is. But if you're interested, uh, let's do the first title here. And you can just say golden, right? And after edit, the S title, a reboot is needed. After edit, the title and update.db is needed to reflect changes. So let's say no. I'm not going to save the changes. Let's try another game. And let's do Ultimate Marvel Capcom 3 Triangle. Let's see, 1.34 gigabytes. Let's shrink this game. No duplicate files detected. And it says, do you really want to remove this manual? 96 files, 28.36 megabytes free. Hit yes. Perfect. And let's go to our homebrews. And let's check out this latest homebrew I installed. Let's press triangle. And you really can't shrink these games. I think you can only shrink the... PlayStation Vita titles for the most part. And let's check out these. Okay. Now, when you're pressing your left and right uh, trigger buttons, the left right buttons at the top, it will just scroll through the list a lot quicker. There we go. And pressing X will start the app. Let's go back. Hitting square will bring up this uh, live area apps section. And this will show you all the different apps that are going on with your Vita. More of the default apps that are pre-installed. So let's press X on email and see what happens. There we go. So it just opens up the app. No big deal. Let's hit triangle. Nothing really happens. Pressing square again will just get you back to the main area. And now pressing start will get you to the system settings. And reloading content will just kind of go through all of your folders and see if there's a game that wasn't installed yet. And I did that and one of the games installed just because I had some trouble with my adapter and I, I don't know it was kind of weird so you hit that it says please wait it'll start searching and it says no vita games homebrews found so hit ok search dlcs awesome our second option says show picks or show pick ones show pick one s and it says no and at the bottom it says show every bubble pick so let's hit yes let's uh, hit start again and now we're going to get a nice background picture of the game that we're looking at. And Uncharted doesn't seem to work. Check out YouTube. No luck there. All Stars, nothing there. Jack and Dexter, nothing. Hmm. Oh, okay, Rayman. So maybe it's the games that I already played. Yeah, some of these games haven't been opened yet. I downloaded them and I haven't had time to actually play them yet. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. So each one will have its own background. Very unique. Very nice. Let's go back to start. And here's our style. So change the style of the icons on one menu. So our style right now is at original. Let's check PS4 XMB. Okay, so it just says PS4, X, and B. That's our only other option. So there is a little bit of a difference you can see there. Let's go back, change it back to original, and it's much more square. Head back to start, go back to PS4. So it's a much larger shape, and it says start at the bottom with the name also at the bottom. 
Our next option is themes. You can download, install, change custom themes on one menu. So let's hit X and let's search online. Make sure you're connected to the internet in order for you to see these different options. And now we have all these different themes for this app. Kind of cool. So we have Bloodstain, Blue Dash for one menu, Ultra Purple, Purple Old Theme. Nice. Let's hit this one here, Addition Portable. So it's downloading, perfect. Let's go back. Oh, I have to get into this menu. Let's hit X. Addition Portable. Okay, let's go back. Wow, look at that's so cool. I love that. I'm not sure if the sounds are different. I don't think they are. But yeah, it's a nice little UI to have and you can shrink your games, uninstall stuff you don't want. Very cool app. Can't go wrong with installing this one. Let's go back and check out another theme search online I like this one here PS Vita blue that looks interesting let's press X again now it's installing perfect let's go back and hit X on that theme okay so not a big difference it's just showing a different wallpaper and different colors for the selection of the games. Let's hit start again. And now our last option says enable auto update. So enable disable, <laughs> disable, disable the auto update feature to allow or block future one menu updates. I'm gonna leave that at yes, because I do want this to continue to update. That way I don't have to download the latest update and then go back on my PC, download it, install it, and do all that all, all over again. So now pressing select will take you to the different partitions on your Vita. The first one is the UXO folder, uh, 238 gigabytes on my card and 109 left. And you can press the left and right trigger to change selections. Here's my URO folder, 2.52 gigabytes. The UMA folder is my four gigabyte memory card. And the UDO partition. And the number at the top right hand corner, you'll see uh, a number change. So here we have number 34, and that's the number of folders in this section. Next one has 15. Next one is 21, and last one is 2. Very cool. At the bottom, we have the time, the date, and the percentage of my battery. I love to see that. That way, I can keep track of what's going on and if I need to charge my battery at any point. Taking you back, we'll have to press select again. Very cool interface. At the very top, you'll see the Wi-Fi connection along with my PSN icon or my PSN avatar and also the battery percentage with the battery icon. At the bottom, we have the time, date, and a number that says 19. And I'm guessing that's the number of PlayStation Vita games I have installed. Next one over is 40. So I guess I have 40 homebrews installed not surprised and here we have four so that does confirm that the number is how many you have in that category very nice now to enable all these games to show up you must have the uh, plugin called like let me take a look here this one is called This one is called non PDRM content. So you must have the plugin non PDRM installed in order for you to install, uninstall apps, games, VPKs, and things like that. So that is basically it, guys, for this application. 
very nice to have shrink your games save a little bit of space look for any duplicates I'm pretty sure I have duplicates on here so I'm gonna have to go through sift through all my files and go from there very useful app and like I said you can't go wrong with downloading and installing this guy so that is it for this one guys thank you so much for watching I really do appreciate it any questions comment down below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible if you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up it really helps me out a lot if you haven't already subscribed please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video in the future thank you so much for watching take care and I'll see you on the next one